Hey what is up guys, my name's Rizyle and welcome back to another edition of my Modern House tutorial series. Now the house I'll be building today is quite unique as it has a lawn area on top of the roof as well as having a spacious balcony in a small pool. So without any further ado, let's get right into building it. First we will lay out the foundation of the building, so let's begin by laying out an 8x8 area of spruce planks. Now come over to the front right corner of your layout, go in one block and extend the area another 6 blocks to the right. Everything changes. Once the foundation is in place, we'll then raise all the outer blocks up 3 blocks to make the walls a total of 4 blocks tall. Next we will add in the doors and windows, so first knock out a 2x2 area in the center of the front right wall and add in two dark oak doors. Then at the center of the front left wall, add in two acacia doors that sit on two quartz blocks. Also add in two black stained glass pane windows on either side of these doors. Now come over to the left side, go over two blocks from the corner and add in a 3x2 window of black stained glass panes. Then at the back side, go over three blocks from the corner and add another 3x2 window. Next we will add in quartz walls around the building, so start by adding a 3 long wall at this corner where the two front walls meet and make it 4 blocks tall. Then over at the front left corner, add in the same wall that is 3 blocks long. Now leave a 5 block gap and add another 3 long wall at the back left corner. Then at the back side, add another two layers onto the wall here. Now leave another 5 block gap and add a two wide wall to the back here. With all the quartz walls up, we will now cover over the building with quartz blocks, so make sure this covers the entire spruce section as well as the gaps between the quartz walls. Now with everything covered up, we will also add another layer of quartz blocks off the left side. Then at the front right, add 3 blocks off the quartz wall and wrap a layer of this around to the quartz wall at the back. Now 
Next we will add in quartz walls on the second floor. So come over to the back right corner, go in one block and make an 8 long wall that is 4 blocks tall. Now come over to the back left corner and add in the same wall that is 4 blocks over from the corner. Then at the front side of this wall, add in a layer off to the right. Then go over 4 blocks from this and add in a 2 wide wall. Now go around to the back and extend the quartz wall here up 4 more blocks. Next we'll add in the windows, so place 3 layers of black stained glass panes between all the walls on the second floor. Then at the left side, add in two dark oak doors at the center of this wall. Next, add a layer of quartz blocks over top of the glass pane windows. And then also fill in the rest of the top layer to close off the roof. Next we'll extend an extra layer of quartz off the roof on all sides except for the back. Then we'll place in grass blocks on top of the quartz roof. Once the grass blocks are in place, we will then use bone meal to add in grass and flowers. Next, place a border of quartz slabs around the bottom half of the grass blocks. Then also place these quartz slabs around the bottom half of the quartz roof. Lastly we'll place black stained glass panes around this lower balcony section for a railing to finish up the second floor. Next we are going to add in the pool, so start by adding a row of quartz blocks between the quartz walls at the front. Then add 3 quartz blocks at the ends of both of these quartz walls and connect a row of quartz blocks between them. Next remove 2 layers of grass and dirt between the quartz blocks we just placed.
Now fill in this bottom layer and sides of the pool with quartz blocks. Once the floor and sides are up, we can then add in the water to the pool. And lastly, place black stained glass panes around the quartz border. Next, we will add in the porch and driveway at the front entrance. So let's start by adding two rows of spruce planks in front of the main doors with a row of spruce stairs after that. Then remove three rows of grass in front of the stairs and fill it in with stone for the driveway. Now off the end of our driveway, place in a too high row of leaves that wrap all the way around to the quartz wall at the back. Next we'll add a flower bed between the quartz walls at the back, so place coarse dirt between the gap here with trap doors off the sides of them. Then place your choice of flowers on top and also add a row of upside down quartz stairs along the top of this gap. Now come around to the side and place in the same flower bed between the walls here and then that will finish up the exterior. With the exterior complete, we will now head inside. Now the first thing we will do is clear an area for the staircase. So starting from the front right corner, remove a 3x5 section of the quartz ceiling. Next place two spruce stairs two blocks out from the corner and add another row above that. Now place spruce blocks at the back of these stairs, and then add two more rows of spruce stairs off to the left of this. Now back to the start of the staircase, add in a spruce plank off the left edge and build it up to the ceiling. Then fill in underneath the staircase up to this wall, and also place three planks across the top here. Now at the top of the staircase, remove the quartz block off the right side and build a spruce wall in its place. Then place in two black stained glass panes between this wall for a railing, and then that will finish up the main components of the interior. Of course, any furniture and decoration of the house is entirely up to you guys, however I will quickly show you how I did mine as an example. But that is going to be all for this modern house tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd love to hear all your feedback, and don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed, as that would be much appreciated. And with that said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Later guys, bye bye.